Okay, go for it. So, this is a quick rundown of Lust in, I don't know, roughly about a minute and a half. So basically, uh, there's a plane crash, lands on an island, and then uh, they're terrorised by this weird monster that appears to be made of smoke, and then there's a load of mysterious people called the others who just fuck them about for a bit. So when it started out, there was this, they were all on an island because the plane had crashed, and then there was some stuff happened. I remember one fat bloke got blown up by dynamite, and there was a polar bear. Well, anyway, it turns out the others are being uh, controlled by this bloke called Jacob, who's this guy that brought them all to the island in the first place because he can influence events because he's uh, about 2,000 years old and he's a demigod. So, you know, he's able to do that kind of stuff. And then there were clouds, and it was a parallel dimension. But then it was limbo, maybe. But then, and then there was the polar bear, I think. Then they all went home, but then came back again. Uh, anyway, a bit more time passes, and they discover there are some other people called the Dharma Initiative that used to be there, and they conducted all sorts of scientific experiments, mainly based about time travel, because of the um, weird pockets of electromagnetic energy that can be manipulated on the island. Anyway, they all got fucked over by the others and wiped out ages ago, but um, a sequence of events leads uh, a load of people into managing to get off the island for a bit, only to realise that they shouldn't have left, they have to go back. Um, was it all a dream at one point, like Dallas? No? Okay. Um, something to do with a black stone and a white stone sounded like yeah, rubbish. Yeah, that was right. So they go back, but everyone's time travelling because the island's been moved. And uh, in the course of time travelling, they actually go back, spend a bit of time with the Dharma Initiative, and figure out they can stop the plane from crashing and all this shit from happening in the first place. But, you know, with a great sense of irony, in trying to stop all these things, they actually cause it to all happen in the first place. They are actually kind of the causes of their own plane crash and all the other crazy shit that happens. And then... It's a bit on a beach. What's that about? <laughs> There's quite a lot of it was on the beach. It was an <laughs> island. A lot of it, no, a lot of it. A lot of it was on the beach. Everyone kept saying to me, oh, it's a new episode, and then it would just be some people sat on the beach, and they'd go, oh, that wasn't a good one. I'd go, what do you mean it wasn't a good one? They'd say, it was just some people on the beach for an hour. And I'd go, what do they do on the beach? And they said, nothing. They just had a conversation and a flashback. So they try and uh, reset the last few years of history into before they got to the island in the first place by setting off a nuclear bomb next to the source, which is where they got all the time travel and weird powers from. But uh, that kind of uh, goes a bit wrong, but we'll leave that for the moment. But anyway, uh, the weird shape-shifting smoke monster thing that's been terrorising them, well, they eventually managed to kill that, and Jacob's also killed us at some point before. And it's those two that were fucking with them all in the first place and causing all the weird shit to happen. So yeah, then they had the flashbacks. And in the flashbacks, it was just like nonsense. It was like, oh yeah, shit, we've got to write backstories for these characters quick. Um, and then it, then it turns out that they're all uh, in limbo. Apparently, well, they're not in limbo. <laughs> And then uh, ultimately, you know, they all live out their lives and various stuff happens, but they end up dying one way or another. And it turns out that when they uh, set the bomb off next to the, uh, the weird um, electromagnetic energy, rather than resetting history, it actually created a weird kind of limbo universe that they could all go into after they die. So basically they're all dead and they meet up in this limbo universe and then they just kind of sort out their last little bits and, you know, tie up all the loose ends. And that's pretty much lost and they're dead. That's pretty good. <laughs>